Yes, Rockstar Dad here. How are you? August bank holiday weekend. We took the kids, threw them in the car, went to Lincoln Castle to the steampunk festival. Yeah! So I get dressed up as Arthur from my graphic novel series Shadow Precept. Arthur played two gigs, one on the Sunday evening at the Drill in Lincoln, and the other at the bandstand stage in Lincoln Castle itself on the Monday afternoon for the closing ceremony. And as you can see in the pictures, we took the whole family my wife was road manager, makeup artist and photographer for the two days and we even created alien minion roles for my little boys on the stage so they could get involved as well. And the whole thing was a fantastic experience from start to finish. It really was. So Asylum, as it is called, is the largest steampunk festival of its kind in the world. Each year it draws apparently somewhere between 50 and 100,000 visitors to Lincoln and it generates millions of pounds for the town in the process. Lincoln Council love it, obviously. Some of you guys will be watching this going, steampunk, what is it? Okay, really quickly then, it's basically a science fiction subgenre. It's heavily influenced by the aesthetics of Victorian steam era. Obviously there are costumes galore, art, weapons, cars, bikes, robots, even steam influenced flying machines. Everything is a bit of a hybrid of styles and themes and there is also a heavy emphasis on the gothic theme. There's quite a few goths going about. But the biggest rule is use your imagination. Anything goes. The term steampunk apparently emerged in the 1980s after, of course, the punk rock movement of the late 1970s. The Asylum Steampunk Festival is mostly a family orientated event so it's brilliant for kids. There are people there from all age groups and everybody's out just to have fun, dress up 
and kind of relax, take the take the heat off their life for a little while, you know. The festival features many different stalls selling all sorts of trinkets and accessories from Dungeons and Dragons to intricate jewellery. The castle grounds itself boasts not one, but two life-size interactive smoking dragons. There's live talks, there's storytelling, there's competitions, there's circus type performances, there's role playing, fire breathing, sword swallowing, burlesque, actors, singers, comedians, even steampunk rappers. All centered around the beautiful setting of the medieval Lincoln Castle. And it was originally constructed by Billy the Conqueror back in the 11th century and he built it on the remains of an old Roman fort nonetheless. So lots of ghosts and spirits flying around the place. Although Shadow Precept isn't primarily steampunk themed, some of the characters' costumes in the current graphic novel issues are based on steampunk. Shadow Precept's a little on the darker side conceptually, but it seems to get really appreciated at the festival. This is the third one that we've done. I wanna be a We only had Arthur's character doing a solo set at the event as the rest of the band were off fighting baddies somewhere on the other side of the galaxy but hopefully we'll get the rest of the band and the full Shadow Precept show to one of the steampunk festivals in the future. If you want to see what that looks like you can check out Shadow Precept at shadowprecept.co.uk details down here. I would thoroughly recommend getting to the festival if you get the chance. August Bank Holiday Weekend, it's always on. Check it out online, get yourself to Lincoln Castle. Brilliant setting, really relaxed, nice atmosphere all around town, brilliant for the kids. Some really nice places to stay and see around Lincoln as well. I'm not working for the council by the way. This was just a really quick video to show you some of the stuff that I do with Shadow Precept in promoting the graphic novel. If you're into it, check us out on Instagram, YouTube. I'll be doing more Shadow Precept stuff during the year. If you're into it, check us out on Instagram, check it out on YouTube. I'll be doing more Shadow Precept stuff during the year. If you check out the website, you'll get a rough idea of what the show looks like. So, I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Peace. Yeah.